the same sign, okay? If they're not the same sign. So for example, what if I gave you a problem like negative seven plus 12 or 18 plus negative 30? Now what? Well, now we're going to use an acronym called USB, okay? And yes, that's an S. <laughs> Fine, I'll fix it. USB, okay? This means that if I have unlike signs, oops, why did I do that? If I have unlike signs, then I'm going to subtract the bigger number by the smaller number. Interesting. That's okay. Let's just say that that's an R. There we go. So, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to change this to blue. Let's take the original problem, negative 7 plus 12. Okay? I can actually rewrite this as a subtraction problem. Remember, when I add two numbers, it does not matter what order I add them in. So negative 7 plus 12 is the same thing as 12 plus negative 7, okay? If I do 3 plus 2, right, that gives me 5. Does it matter if I reverse my order of my numbers, 2 plus 3? No, I'm still going to get 5. So in this case, I'm going to reverse my order. I have negative 7 plus 12. Well, negative 7 plus 12 is the same thing as... 12 plus negative 7. And if I have unlike signs, which I do, because 12 is positive, right? I'm going to put a plus here, and the 7 is negative. Now all I have to do is subtract the bigger number, which is 12, by the smaller number, which is 7. And then I'm going to keep the sign of the bigger number. Because which one's bigger, 12 or 7? 12, and since it's positive, my answer is going to be positive. So let's try this out. 12 minus 7 is what I'm thinking about. 12 minus 7. Well, 12 minus 7 is 5, and since 12 in my original problem was positive, my answer is going to be positive 5. And I don't need to put this plus sign here. I'm just putting it here for now. When you give your answers, I'm expecting you not to put the plus sign. I know that 5 is positive if you don't put a negative in front of it. Okay? So let's try this with the next one. This is where we're really going to see it. 18 and negative 30. Okay? I'm going to put it here. 18 plus negative 30. Well, 30 is larger than 18, right? I know negative 30 is not, but we're going to ignore the negatives for now. So 30 is larger than 18, and I said subtract the bigger number by the smaller number. Well, 30 minus 18 is 12. But 30 was the bigger number, and 30 originally was negative. So my answer has to be a negative number, which is negative 12. So what's another way of looking at this? We came up with these two situations. We have same signs versus unlike signs. Okay. So how do we really want to think about this? Let's go with a simple problem with same signs. Let's say we have negative 6 plus negative 4. 
okay? And for the sake of this, let's say that if I model this, any black circle is positive, and any red circle is negative. Well, if I want to represent negative 6, that means I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And then let's do plus negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So what happens here? Well, all I have to do is put all my negatives together. I have, let's make it yellow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So my answer becomes negative 10. Or if I model it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because we have our original 6, and then we have the 4 that we added to it. So my answer here is negative 10. If I gave you as an example with unlike signs, so let's say I've got negative, let's do negative 3 plus 5. Okay, let's model this. Well, negative 3 is here. We have 1 two, three, plus one, two, three, four, five. So what happens when I put a red and a black together? What happens when I pair a positive and a negative together? So if I pair a positive one and a negative one together, I need to understand that these cancel each other out, right? If I give you a point and I take away a point, you're now at zero. So these cancel each other out. Well, if I do this, every time I see a red, I can cancel out a black. So let's do that. One, one, two, two, three, three. So how many positives or black circles do I have left? I have two. So my answer is positive two, because remember I have two blacks and the blacks are positive. Now, this is why we can also do five minus three which is two, and then keep the sign of the bigger number. Well, the bigger number was five and it was positive, so this has to be a positive two, okay? So if you do have questions, please ask. We can definitely discuss that. Um, you will have work to do, and I'll show you how to get to that live in class. Alrighty, thanks.